Hey golf people, I'm sitting next to my golf bag, so you know what that means. It's time for the 2023 edition of What's in the Bag. I know folks love to take a look, be voyeurs at times inside other bags. I like to do it myself, and this is your chance to see what I'm playing this year. There are some significant changes for sure, not only in the golf clubs that I am playing and the setup and makeup of my bag, but also in the technology and some of the devices I'm using. So I'm gonna show you everything. I promise they're gonna be a few big surprises. Let's take a look. Now I know the clubs are the main event to most people here, but I promise what's inside this bag is just as important. By the way, this bag is the Grit Golf Tower and boy, this thing is pretty incredible what it can actually fit. You're gonna be amazed at what comes out of this bag, I promise you. So let's go ahead and give this thing an open to show you what this thing actually does. And it's pretty cool. So they call it the golf tower because it literally has a shelving system inside of here. It's, it's pretty amazing. On the top shelf here, I've got my Garmin G80. A lot of people ask me about this device. I use it not only as a GPS on course with accurate front, middle, back distances, but it also is a mini launch monitor. So I get club head speed, ball speed, smash factor, and it estimates my carry and carry and roll. And I love this little device. So I always have that with me. Second shelf here, I've got the FlightScope Mevo. I love this thing because it's so nice and portable. I've been using this at the range. I love that it now comes with impact data. So you can literally see where on the club face you strike the ball. Nice, lightweight, it doesn't weigh me down too much and it's just a fantastic, extremely accurate launch monitor for the range as well as an indoor device. You can get full simulation on this device as well. So flight scope is generally here in the second shelf. Moving along to the third shelf here, I've got a few more tees. And then I've got my rangefinder. Now, this is one change that I've made. I've been playing the Voice Caddy. This one here is the TL from Voice Caddy. Great price point, extremely good accuracy. As you can see, I put my name as well as my email and I've got my phone number there underneath my thumb in case I leave this because it's got a magnet. And oftentimes when I'm riding in a cart, I leave things behind. I'm sure you probably know exactly what I'm talking about if you've got a rangefinder with a magnet. So great high quality rangefinder there. Pop that stuff back in. Now, that's what you see on the front, but there's actually, <laughs> this bag is so cool. There's actually a back pocket. And yeah, I get hungry from time to time out on course. And I've got a couple of things here. I'm always carrying a public sub. <laughs> and if you guys know, I'm from Baltimore, so of course, yeah, I've got the Uts. They taste so good that some people can't wait to get home before they eat them. Obviously I'm joking, but there is a huge storage back here if you wanna put your shoes or whatnot. This thing, like I said, is pretty incredible. All right, let's go to the top pocket here. This is where I keep my golf balls for easy access. As you know, or maybe you don't know, I've switched balls here and I've been playing the Mizuno RB Tour ball. Really loving these balls. You've probably seen them heavily featured on the driver battle here the last month or so on the channel. Great distance, great feel. I would call it exceptional feel. Just love the compression and the distance that I'm getting out of these balls. Love everything about them. I used to play on Corvero X1. I was also trying the Wilson Triads, but those are the balls that I've settled on here for this season. Let's see if there's anything here. I think there is. Ah, yes, of course. So this is the ShotScope X5. Let me see if I can turn it on. I've been using this watch to track my shots out on course. The app and the data that this thing provides is exceptional. I would probably say second to none really with the strokes gain data, with the analyzation of your game to help you improve your score. It's a really, really cool device. So I've got that there in the top pocket. The top pocket of this bag, by the way, is this nice velour kind of valuables keepsake pocket. In this pocket, I've got my golf gloves and you may or may not know this, I play a very niche brand of golf gloves. These are Invictus and the leather is so supple. This company is out of Canada. They've been supplying my golf clubs here for about the last year and a half. Just fantastic guys. They don't pay me to endorse their products or anything like that, but I really love doing it because they're just 
really cool people. All right, guys, I promise I'm gonna show you the clubs here in just a second, but let's move around here to the side and back of this bag before I do. Just a couple other things I wanna show you. This is the cooler sleeve here in the grit bag, and inside are my favorite on-course drinks when I'm playing a casual round, which isn't too often, but I found that the cooler sleeve is really perfect for three cans of High Noon. And there's my favorite flavor there, grapefruit, in case you're wondering, but I just love that about this bag. Now, if you're not a person that drinks the hard stuff out on course, yeah, this bag. I've also got my Arnold Palmer half and half there. This bag is incredible. Like I said, I can't believe it can actually hold an entire gallon. Obviously having a little bit of fun there, but yeah, the Grit Golf Tower, pretty amazing what you can store if you want to. It might weigh 100 pounds, but it'll get it all in. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out. All right, let's go to the clubs here now. So we'll start with the wedges. And for the third year running, I am playing the Titleist SM8 wedges. I just have not found a need to upgrade to the SM9s or change my wedges in any way. They work really well for me. My short game is probably the best part of my game if you've watched the videos. And I really love how these wedges perform, the spin I get from them and the distance I get when I'm hitting full shots out in the fairway. I've got the 58 in an M grind, the 54 in a D grind, and the 50 in an F grind if you wanna geek out about Vokey Wedge Grind. Next, the clubs I'm using here, you might have seen my video where I created a custom set of these Tacoma 101 tees. Since about September of last year, I had been playing the Tacoma 101s, but I found the 101 tees I liked even better with just a smaller head shape, a little thinner profile top line. They're not quite as long as those clubs, but I'm getting better spin with them. I'm able to work the ball left and right a little bit better. And since I have improved my swing here in the last few months, I'm actually hitting them pretty far anyways. Up on screen, here is my stock yardages with the Tacoma 101 tees in case you're interested. I've got four through pitching wedge. They are completely customized. I've got custom ferrules that match the brand colors. I'm playing Nippon shafts. I've got the NS Pro 950 GH stiff shafts in these. And I've also got a custom grip on here as well. We've got a golf pride again in the brand colors. And there on the tip there, you can see that's the shot scope tag that matches my X5 Golf smartwatch. So that's how I'm able to track all the clubs in my bag, how far I'm hitting them and get all that shot data to analyze post round. So I really love these clubs. I've been playing exceptionally the last couple of months here with them. And what I really enjoy about them is the price. These clubs, you can go on Tacoma's website and get for under $600 the entire set. And you have a number of shaft options and whatnot to choose from. So incredible value. Again, Tacoma does not sponsor me. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm a mere mortal. My budget is reflecting of being a mere mortal. And I love to find a great deal. The Tacoma 101 tees to me are a fantastic deal. The entire line really, but these are the clubs I'm using. All right, let's move on to a couple of clubs that have not changed here this year. This is my three hybrid. It's Wilson Staff C300. I love the red matte finish to this thing. It's the oldest club in my bag right now, but I have not found a reason to switch it, just like those wedges. I just, until I find a club that can beat it, I'm keeping it in the bag. That's just how I am. This club is 20 degrees stock, but I've actually got it turned down one degree. So I've got it at 19 degrees. For me, my four iron, as you saw, goes about 200. This is going to be about my 210 to 215 club right here. All right, moving on to the three wood here. As you can see, I'm completely brand agnostic. And that's what I really love about this bag is it's a hodgepodge of clubs that really work well for me. And for me, the three wood is the Ping G425. This is about a two, maybe three year old club now as well. And I've got it at 14 and a half degrees. I keep it at the stated loft, but you can actually turn this up or down a couple of degrees, but 14 and a half works well for me. If I really poke this thing, this is a 245 club, but lately I've not been hitting this club all that well. So it's going more like 225. But when I hit it well, it's very capable. I've got the Alltech Counterbalance 65 gram stiff shaft from Ping. Great, great shaft, really great club. The last club up here is the driver before we get to my brand new putter at least, and that's gonna be fun. But let's talk about the driver. If you haven't seen my driver battle, I looked at all of the clubs across the spectrum here in 2023. We tested them all head to head in a March Madness style bracket. I settled on the Titleist TSR3. I absolutely love 
love this driver. I've already hit a couple of drives, 300 plus here this year. And for me, a mere mortal, a guy that normally drives at 250 to 265, somewhere in that range, that is monstrous. On top of the distance though, the TSR3 is extremely accurate. I'm hitting so many fairways with this thing, but what I love most about it and what I think it does better than any other club is the feel off the club face. It feels so solid, so pure at impact. I can't even describe it. You have to try it for yourself. I've got it paired with what I think is an incredible shaft. This is the hazardous red counterbalance shaft. I've got it in stiff here. It's got a medium amount of spin and it's got really nice mid to high trajectory. It to me is just the perfect pairing for my swing and the shot shape that I like to play. So that's the driver in my bag. Now there's one more club we haven't talked about and that's the putter. And as I mentioned before, short game is a big part of my game. I'm often having to get up and down. And because of that, the putter is so very important. Well, I just made a change to my putters this year. As you know, I really love my Sax Parente Series 66, but I met the guys from Sax Parente out at the PGA show this year, and I had a chance to really dive deep on all of the different head styles, and I got to feel them and touch them, and I settled on a new putter for this year that I never thought would be a putter that I would ever like, the style of putter, just feeling the balance, feeling the weight, everything about it, the proportions, and the look to my eye is just perfect. It's a very simple design. I guess you'd call it a bullseye putter. This is the Sax Parente Series 39. The balance point of this putter is extremely, extremely low on the shaft. There's the balance point of this thing, which means it's a very pendulum-like experience. You've also got tungsten weights in the heel as well as in the toe. And so the face just does not turn at impact. It's very hard to have that face stay open or shut as you come through it. It's very, very smooth and straight coming through. And especially from those short ranges, the knee knocker range, three, four, five feet, that sort of thing, I'm just not missing very many putts. Love the milling on this thing. It's absolutely beautiful and pristine because it's nearly brand new but uh, I'm absolutely loving it. The shaft and grip combination, super lightweight. Again, allowing all that weight to be placed at the bottom there. Just an absolutely fantastic and really gorgeous piece of putting technology here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this walk through my bag here. I've had a ton of fun alongside you putting this together. You've seen all my struggles and my triumphs, all my testing to get to where we are. And I'm really proud of the setup I've got. I really think it's working well for me. If you've enjoyed this video and you're not already, please do hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you back real soon on another edition of Let's Play 